Hello, hi, Chegu Jaga here. Okay, today under topic light, we are going to study about shadow. Okay, what is shadow? How does the shadow will be formed? We are going to see that. Okay, shadow. When you're walking on the road in the afternoon, you can see one black color object is following you. Okay, it's not a ghost. It's not something else. That's the shadow. Okay, so shadow will be formed when a light is blocked by an object. Okay, see. When a light is blocked by an object, the shadow will be formed at the back. Okay, so what kind of object is that? That is called opaque object. So we will see what is opaque object, what is transparent object, what is translucent object in a while. Okay, so the next part is clarity of shadows. Okay, clarity of shadows. Okay, what we are going to see is we are going to see these three type of object here. Okay, I told you right, transparent, translucent, and opaque object okay and then we want to see how does the type of object affects the clarity of shadows okay does it produce a clear shadow or less clear shadow or no shadow at all okay see this part object okay plastic sheet okay plastic sheet is a transparent object okay what is transparent object teacher transparent object is a object that allows all the light to pass through it okay so there is no shadow will be formed okay when the light pass through an transparent object okay when a when a light pass through a transparent object shadow will not be formed okay now the tracing paper tracing paper is a translucent object okay translucent translucent object translucent object doesn't allow any uh, it allows some of the light to pass through it okay some of the light to pass through it so if you see the clarity of shadow produced by the tracing paper will be less clear because it allows some light to pass through it and some of the light didn't pass through it so it is less clear look at this part thick paper okay thick paper we call it as a opaque object opaque object means it doesn't allow any light to pass through it okay it doesn't allow any light to pass through it so a clear shadow will be formed when a light is blocked by an opaque object okay so transparent translucent and opaque object okay we all and we also see about clarity of shadow so when the question be being asked like which object produce the clearest shadow it will be thick paper which is opaque object okay so in the comment box you can text me okay you can chat about the other objects okay other transparent objects that you know other opaque objects that you know or other translucent objects that you know okay yeah and then you also can share about the clarity of shadow there whether it's produce a clear shadow or less clear or no shadow at all okay so you can try this at home and then at me okay we can share okay next part the shadow play okay those days okay uh, this is a one of the like a uh, famous activities okay F famous activity we call it wayang kulit okay shadow plays or wayang kulit okay i don't think so most of the people nowadays they they are still playing this okay in the shadow play see the shadow of the character is similar to the object of the character okay the shadow is clear because the object of the character doesn't allow light to pass through it okay look at here this is object of the character okay see before this we want to see the wire cool it what they are doing first okay see this is the player okay so he got the object of the character and all that okay he'll make he'll be he'll be telling the stories and then he will play the character okay and then see the shadow of the character okay we as an audience we will we will be able to see the shadow of the character okay while he telling the story the share the character will be playing there okay it's like a story you know okay see here if you ask me teacher why uh, how can the shadow of the character will be can be very clear can be very clear teacher how because the object of the character is an opaque object okay the object of the character is an opaque object so it can produce a clear shadow so that the audience can enjoy the drama or the wayang kulit as well okay so this is called the shadow play okay so you at home can create a paper puppet play okay create a paper puppet play can be a like a dog character can be like a cat and all that okay then you can play it okay but use it okay use it 
use according to uh, you can create it using the opaque object okay please create it using an opaque object. if you use if you use or uh, use like a plastic paper and all that it is not going to produce a clear shadow okay it will be like a less clear or no shadow at all okay use a thick paper to create a puppet and then you can play it at home and you can try it as well okay so that's what we have learned today we learned how a shadow is formed we see how we talk about the clarity of shadow as well and then how does the shadow play works and i ask you to create a paper puppet play at home okay you can try this at home okay if you want to give any feedback you can comment okay as i told you as i give you the quick question here okay you can tell me other objects that you know which is opaque transparent and translucent object okay and then if you like the video you can subscribe the channel okay you will get you, you will get to see the other videos as well okay and then if you like you hit like and then if you want to share with your friends you can share as well okay thank you class bye see you in the next class